Okay, welcome to FM Tuition Academy. Today in mathematics, we'll be looking at a topic called sets. And we'll be looking at complements. Okay? Complements. Make sure you pay attention, guys. Okay. If, for example, if this is a universal set, it's written for you like this, okay? And then they want you to, there are, two, there are two sets, this is set A, and then this one is set B, okay? So the whole of this is set A, okay? If they want you to shed A complement, okay? That's the one that they want you to shed, A complement, A complement. They want you to shed A complement, guys. A complement. That's the, that's the one that they want you to shed. The first thing you do is, this is I, I said this is set B. How do you shed A complement? A complement. Okay? So we are shedding A complement. Okay? That's a symbol like A, -K -I, A complement. It means like this. I've written A complement like that. So we're trying to shed that. It means... Anything outside set A. Have you seen this is set A, guys? The whole of this circle is set A. All of it, this one. All of it is set A. All of it set A. So when I say A complement, I mean outside that circle. Outside this circle, the one I've drawn, outside. Everywhere, this is shedding, shedding A complement. This, that's what it means to shed A complement. It means shed around A, but don't touch A. Shed around A. So if it's in a practical question, where they bring for you a question that is like this, okay? And then they put for you two sets like this, okay? And then here, there is one, okay? There, there is two. There, there is three, four. Uh, I'll put five here, okay? I'll put six and seven outside, and then they tell you shed a complement or find a complement. It means all the elements outside A. So I ask myself, which one is set A here? This is set A, this is set B. Which one is set A here? This one. So it means I pick anything outside this circle. Anything outside this circle. So what are the elements outside? Three is outside. Four six and seven they are all outside that circle so a complement it means elements outside a a complement means elements outside the second circle a so it means three comma four comma six comma seven these are the elements outside a same thing applies. If they say B complement, it means elements outside B, shedding elements outside B. So if, for example, this is a, this is a, for example, if that is a question, and then uh, this is the diagram they gave you, okay, and then it's like this, okay, and then uh, here there is the elements you have include one, uh, two, three. Here inside here it's four and five. And then here at 6, 7, here outside is 8 and 9. I'll put 10 also. And then they want you to find this is set A, that is set B. If they said B complement, it means shedding anything outside B. So what is B? B is this circle. Can you see it? All this is B. All this. So it means all elements outside this B. All elements outside this B are the ones I'm supposed to write. Because B complement, it means elements outside the circle of B. What are the elements outside the circle of B? One, you can see here, two, three, eight, nine, and ten. So, one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, comma, eight, comma, nine, and ten. These are the elements. These are the elements. Have you understood? Okay. Having that knowledge now, we explained about A complement and B complement. Let me explain A intersection B. 
if for example they give you a set like this and then they ask you to find if this is a set that is the set and then they want you to find um, I'll put here the elements is one two so one and two are the elements inside this is three four and then five six and then outside seven eight they want you to find a complement intersection B complement okay so it means when you are solving such kind of a question you first list a complement list it first and then you also list B complement that's how you solve this question so we'll start with a complement that's one that we we'll list first okay we list a complement. We're trying to find a complement, intersection B complement. You can't just solve it all together. You solve it in pieces. You start with a complement first. You start with this one first. So we'll start with a complement. So I'll start with a complement. I list all the elements outside A. So I'll come back to my diagram. Which ones are outside A? Okay. A complement, meaning outside the circle A outside this circle a what are the elements outside it is three four seven eight so those are the ones that are outside a three comma four comma seven comma eight i've listed a complement now i list b complement why am i listing b complement because i've listed a complement now i'm going to list b complement this one so it means elements outside d okay outside b elements outside what b elements outside this circle which is yellow b this circle elements outside this so it is five six seven and eight these are the elements outside b so the elements outside b is five comma six comma seven comma eight these are the elements outside B. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I can now find A complement intersection B complement. So the part which is my point of interest here is this part intersection. Intersection means pick the ones that are common. So what are the ones that are common in these two sets you have listed? Eight is common. Eight is common. Seven is common. Seven is common, okay? Which others are common that are appearing here in the set above and in the set below? It means they're intersecting. So it's only 7, 8. That's how you list. So meaning that is the answer. Have you seen that we have solved this one? 7, 8. We listed A complement first, and then we listed B. We listed A complement here. We listed B complement. And then now we have to find the intersection, meaning what is common in the two elements, which is 7 and 8. Have you understood? You do like this for all the questions. All the questions. So if a question wants to come, they bring for you like this. And then they draw for you a set that is like this. And then they say the elements here it is five and six. Here it's one, two, here it's three, four, five. Uh, three four and then i'll put seven here it's eight and nine okay and nine so they want you to find a complement intersection b but b is not complement it's just a complement intersection b so what's the first set i'm listing if you remember what i taught you we'll start with a complement that's the one that we we'll list a complement meaning outside a this is another question by the way Okay, this is another question. Don't get confused. It's a new question. They have given you that set. They want you to find A complement intersection B. So we'll start with A complement. List first A complement. Remember what I said? I said you solve it in parts. You list A complement, then you list B. Then you find the intersection. Okay? So we'll start with A complement. What is A complement? I come there. I'm solving now. A complement is equal to meaning outside a guys outside a so what are the elements outside a 
what are the elements outside A? These are the elements. So this is A, okay? The whole of this is A, okay? This whole circle is A. This is A, and then this is B. Meaning, what are the elements outside A, outside that black circle? What are the elements? Two, it's one, two, eight, and nine. So that means A complement, it is Z. A complement, it is what? 1, 2, 8, 9. These are the elements outside A. After I've listed A complement, what are you listing? B. Okay? The set B. List the set B. What is the set B? The set B is this one. So list all these elements in yellow. All of them in this circle, yellow. So in this yellow, in, in this yellow circle, how many elements we have? One, two, five, and six. One, two, five, and six. So B is equal to one, two, five, and six. Now, we can now find A complement intersection B. So we find the one that is common. Now, we can now solve the question now. Intersecting means what is common here and here. So what common do you see in those two? One is common, guys. One is common there. Two is common. Two is common. So it simply means one comma two are the common elements. Intersection. It means they are the common elements. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Okay? Lastly, uh, but not the least, if I say they give you a question that is like this. They give you like this. Now we are dealing with union now. Union, it means putting together. So if I put uh, one, two, three, this is four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine. They want you to find A, complement, union, B, complement. Okay? It means list A complement and then list B complement. Then you find the union set. Okay? So we'll start with A complement first. That's what we start with. So we list A complement from that diagram. So what is A complement? A complement, it means outside A. I think I've explained what A complement means. It means anything outside the circle of A. So anything outside this circle. Okay? Anything outside this circle. So it is 6 is outside, 7 is outside, 8 is outside, and 9. Okay? So that means uh, uh, A complement it is 6, 7, 8, 9. These are outside that circle. And then B complement, it means outside the circle of B. What are the elements outside the circle of B? What are the elements outside the circle of B? Which one is my B circle? Which one is my B circle? So B circle, this is this is A, this is B. Okay? So it means outside B. This is the circle for B. Okay? So outside that yellow circle. What are the elements outside? B complement, it means outside this the yellow circle. Outside B. So it is one, two, three, eight, nine. Okay? It is actually one. Two, three, one, two, three, eight, nine. One, two, three, eight, nine. Okay? One, two, three, eight, nine. So now we can list A complement union B complement. It means put all these elements together. You group them together. It's not like finding what is common. It's not intersection. Union, it means bring together. So it means I've brought together, the first element is one, then there is two, one, two, three. Okay, the, the second element, it is six, then seven, okay, it's appearing there and there as well, seven, eight, nine. So that is, those are the elements that we have. Union, it means bring all the elements together. That's how you do it, guys. I've come to the end of the lesson for sets. Keep practicing. Make sure you're splitting them in this manner. And then that's when you can solve for this. 
Thank you.